My name is P.T. Moore. I'm dressed as George Washington. We are members of the 40 and 8 Flags for First Graders, but today it's going to be Flags for Homeschoolers. We want to teach you about our American flag, our nation's symbol. We're going to tell you the do's and don'ts, what you can and what you shouldn't do with it. We're going to teach you how to fold it. At the end, we're going to give you an opportunity to fold it. And when this is all over, you're going to get your own flag. The first one, our flag has a couple of names. Can anybody tell me what they are? Just raise your hands and I'll pick you out. Does he know? Anyone want to take a guess what one of the names of our flag is? Go ahead. Very good. It's the American flag. If we can get our gentleman here to hold the flag up, we brought a, a natural flag. We're also going to show you how to fold it because when we're done explaining and asking all this question and answer, these gentlemen are going to fold it. And it takes 13 folds to fold this flag, and we're going to tell you what each one of them means. Very good. Old Glory. That's a great name. And another name is the Star Spangled Banner. So as you're looking at the flag, you can see it has 50 stars and it's got 13 stripes. But we sing a song. Who knows the name of that song? The National Anthem. Very good. It's our National Anthem. And the name of that is the Star Spangled Banner. Now, whenever you see a flag held up at an event like today, or if we were at a baseball game, what's the, what does everybody do before the game starts? How many stars are there? Somebody told me. 50. Very good. What do those stars stand for? Anybody else? Go ahead. Our state. That's right. One star for each state. I'll tell you one of them. How about the stars and stripes? Okay. As we say, each star is to represent each state. Originally, how many states or colonies were there? Thirteen. Very good. There were thirteen colonies, and when we sent our Declaration of Independence, a letter to King George and every other country in the world, there were thirteen stars on the first flag. There's also stripes on there. There's seven red and six white. What do those stand for? That's right, they stand for the 13 colonies. When we had our first flag originally done, we had 13 stars in a circle and we had 13 stripes. Now some of the important things we want to make known to you guys are the do's and don'ts, which you can do with the flag and which you cannot do with the flag. One thing we never do is we never raise another flag higher than our flag. When we have a flag on the flagpole and other flags are with it, they are never flown higher than ours. They can be flown equal with it or lower. You never allow the flag to touch the ground. We don't want it soiled, okay? If it does get dirty, you can take the flag to a cleaner or have somebody wash it very gently for you, okay? Because you don't want to destroy it. Or when we are done folding the flags, you'll receive your own little flag. Please be careful with it. Don't be poking your buddy with it. Don't be poking him in the eye or hitting him in the back. That's your flag to take care of. You take it home. So right now, does everybody know the Pledge of Allegiance? Okay, how about if we all stand and we say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Take sit down. Now, one of the other things we want to make sure you understand and how to do is to fold the flag properly. And our gentlemen here are going to do that now. The flag, as I said, when you fold it, it's going to have 13 folds and end up in a triangle shape. They're going to make the first two folds by folding in half once, and then a second time, and the blue field's going to be on the bottom. If you start on the opposite end, it doesn't have the stars. That's where you always start folding by. And I'm going to tell you what each one of these folds means, and they're going to wait for me to finish, or I'm going to wait for them to finish, depending on who goes uh, ends up first. Okay, the first fold. The 13 stripes represent the original 13 states, and they were... Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Georgia, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Maryland, South Carolina, New Hampshire, Virginia, New York, North Carolina, and Rhode Island. The second fold stands for the 50 stars which represent our 50 states of America, our 50 United States. The third flag is for a quote, I know not what course others may take, but as for me, Give me liberty or give me death. That was Mr. Patrick Henry. The fourth floor. These are times that try men's souls. The summer soldier and the sunshine patriot will, in this crisis, shrink from the service of their country. But he that stands it now deserves the love and thanks of man and woman. That was a gentleman by the name of Thomas Paine during the Revolution times. The fifth floor. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, 
that you're endowed by the Creator with certain inalienable rights, and among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. This is a quote straight from the Declaration of Independence. The sixth fold, we the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, do ordain and establish this Constitution of the United States. And that comes straight from the uh, United States Constitution, the preamble. The seventh fold. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion, nor prohibiting the free speech, the free exercise thereof, or abridge the freedom of speech, or of the press, or the right of the people to peaceably assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. That comes from the First Amendment. The Eighth Fold. The basis of our political system is the right of the people to make and alter their constitution of government. And that was myself, George Washington, said that. The Ninth Fold. My God, how little do my countrymen know what precious blessings they are in possession of, in which no other people on earth enjoy. And that was President Thomas Jefferson. The tenth fold. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty, and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. And that was President Abraham Lincoln. The eleventh fold. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuge of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless, tempest-tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. This is the inscription on the Statue of Liberty on a piece of paper she holds in her hand. The twelfth fold. Ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. And that was President John F. Kennedy. And our last fold, the thirteenth fold. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. And that was Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Now as you can see, what they do is they take the last piece of the flag and they fold it as a triangle and they tuck it inside. And that keeps it from coming apart. And as you can see, it's shaped like a triangle, just like the Patriots' hats of the Revolutionary War, so we never forget where we come from. All right. It takes on the appearance of a cocked hat, every reminding us of the soldiers who served under General George Washington and the sailors and Marines who served under Captain John Paul Jones. And they were followed by their comrades and shipmates in the armed forces of the United States. They have preserved for us the rights, privileges, and freedoms which we enjoy today. 